I would like to demonstrate how you can move MIDI notes a specified position to the left or to the right by using your keyboard. First, let's listen to this little fragment of a song. As you can see, I have it highlighted here for cycle mode, and let's play it. I hit the one key on the new bear keypad to go to the beginning of that section and hit the space bar to play it. Now, what I wanted to focus on is this part of the alto sax section. Just listen to how it sounds here. Doot, doot. I'm wondering, what would it sound like, sort of experimentally, if I took these notes and kind of like did it in a step pattern? What if I took the top two notes and played them one bar beforehand and played the next two highest, one half of a bar, and so it's sort of a sequence down? Now, how do I do that? Well, with the keyboard is what I want to demonstrate. There's actually three parts to it to do this. First, you go up to the quantize and see so you select the amount of distance you want to change. Second, you select the notes, and then to move to the left, you hold on the control key and then the left arrow, control left. That's on a PC. On a Mac, it would be command left. All right, let's do it. I want the top two to be one full measure. So I selected one measure on the quantize. I will now lasso these two notes, hold on the control key, and left. There you go. Now I want these two to be half of a bar. Let's go up, half of a bar, lasso to select, and control left. There we go. Let's see what that sounds like now. So that's how you do it. I think I might want to go back to the original one in this particular piece. I'll hit the Control Z to go back twice. There we go. But the idea, as you can see, is you can easily experiment to see if you do like it or if you don't like it. And all you do, again to repeat, is you select the quantized distance you want, then you select the notes down below with the ones you want to move and hit control left to go to the left that distance or control right to go right that distance. That's all there is to it. Check out my new course. It's called Cubase Overview. What it is, what it does, and what version to use.